Good morning everyone, this is Jane. Uh, today I'm planning on uh, roasting some local red and yellow peppers. Uh, it's a uh, pretty easy recipe and it's very delicious either as a side dish or as a garnish for sandwiches. Um, I purchased some local red and yellow peppers and uh, it's best to use red and yellow, they're the sweetest. Here are the peppers and um, they're really uh, nice and big and meaty so you want to choose the biggest um, size so that you'll yield um, and it's easier to peel and, and you'll yield a lot more. Uh, I also have a paper bag um, so that um, after I grill them on the barbecue, which is the method I'm using today, it's much easier and uh, there's no mess, there's no cleanup uh, other than the, um, the grill, you know, brushing the grill. You can do it on a, um, a gas stove, but it's a lot messier and, um, it's, you know, you'll have to clean it up. I'm going to uh, put them on the grill momentarily and here we go. I guess I'll put them in the bag right now. I also wanted to talk about, um, <clears throat> I don't feel so great today because, I mean, I feel okay, um, but I had a rough night. I had really bad <clears throat> leg cramps. I had a very uh, good workout yesterday. I did a hill run. I did uh, hill repeats. First I did a warm up cool and a warm up for about two miles and then I did hill repeats. I had a great workout and um, I thought, you know, and I thought I was hydrated but um, lo and behold I had cramps last night and it, it was very painful and I couldn't sleep so I'm really tired. But I guess uh, things could be worse and I should appreciate the day because it's a really beautiful day. Um, outside. I'm just, here's the garden. I'm just gonna show you the garden. I don't know if you could see it. Here's my pots, my flower pots, and just the local scenery. And I'm, I'm right on the deck, so I'm gonna put these uh, peppers on. So just like put them onto the grill. I already heated up the grill. And you want to um, put them on the grill. And um, I'll cover it. And every so often I'll come out and turn them so that the whole, the entire surface of the pepper is charred. And then once that's done, I put them in a paper bag to cook a little longer so they get nice and tender. Um, and then uh, I'll show you what I do then. Okay, so now, oh, I hate my haircut. Um, now I'm going to uh, turn them over. Oh, I forgot my tongs. I have to get these long tongs so that I don't burn myself, but so I have these these things which help me turn it on the uh, grill. As you can see, they're starting to char. Um, yeah, so I just keep turning these. And um, until all the sides are done. Yeah, these aren't really charred very well yet, so I guess I just um, I did it too soon. I should have waited a little longer on each side, but I'll just keep rotating them and they get they get black on the entire surface. You don't want to overdo it though. You don't want to overcook them. So um, I'll continue this again. Okay, so um, this is what they should look like uh, as they're charring on the outside. 
and you keep turning them. So when the sides are blackened like that, then they're ready to turn. This one. I may have overdone a little bit of that, but okay, so I'm gonna turn this over. So there you go. So each side, let me just lift that up. Hard to do this left-handed while I video this, but that's the idea. Okay, so I ran out of gas um, on my barbecue, um, and I somehow figured out how to change it. Usually Joe does it, but um, I actually managed to do it, and... And what happened was the the peppers, you know, wilted a little bit because they're, they're cooked. They're cooking inside, but that's okay. So now I'm continuing charring each, uh, the, uh, you know, all the sides. Once I'm done, I will put it in the paper bag. Okay, um, these are just about uh, done. As you can see, that's what they should look like. And... I'm going, I need to do it a few more minutes and then um, I'll put them in the paper bag just to um, cool down and cook uh, on the inside. It, it steams it a little bit. These peppers are done. That's what they should look like. So now I'm going to um, put them in the bag if I can one handed. First I'm going to open this up a bit. I've got a receipt in here that I need to take out, but okay. So um, this is what they should look like. They're done, and I'm going to place them in the bag. As you can see, some of them are very juicy. They're very. Um, oops. So these are done. And I just uh, put them in the bag. Let me turn off the grill. Turn off. Oops, I gotta turn this off first. Make sure that's tightened. Okay. So then I just put them in the bag and I close the bag. Now, you have to be careful because the juices are like leaking out. So what I do is I bring them to the sink and just let them sit in the sink and just let them sit there. And then uh, when they cool off, you'll be able to uh, peel the skin. Um, so, at that point, I will make, I will continue this video. So now I'm going to show you um, what the next step is, and that's um, peeling these um, charred pepper skins. So what I'm going to do is, um, what I usually do is just run a little bit, uh, run water very lightly, so that I could rinse my hands while I'm peeling the charred skin. So what I'll do is I'll get a uh, bowl ready. Let me just uh, close this up. Or uh, what I do is I'm planning on putting them in the refrigerator. So instead of a bowl, I mean you can serve them, you know, directly. If you're serving them soon, you you put them in a serving bowl. But right now I have a um, plastic container, and I've chopped up some fresh garlic. I sliced that. And I actually have some leftover uh, minced parsley, uh, which I'm going to garnish. And you'll need olive oil as well. So I'll get out my olive oil. And everything is ready. I'll bring the bowl. I'll, I'll bring the bowl next to the, next to the sink. And you can actually peel these... Uh, you know, uh, not in the sink or without the running water, but I just find that uh, 
it's it's easier to rinse my hands and you don't want to rinse the peppers directly under the water because it takes away all the good flavors so you want to retain as much of the juice of the pepper as possible. I'm going to um, take off this uh, what I do is I gently um, peel away the skin What I, and I have the bag down there too so I'm just going to drop let's see just, what I do is I uh, peel the skin like thusly want to get all the charred skin off they're cooled down now so that's it's been about more than an hour cooling down in the bag and cooking but as you can see it helps to have the um, the water running so you can rinse your fingers as you peel but you don't want to put the pepper directly under the um, water because as I said it'll uh, remove a lot of the really good flavors. You can if you want to, if you're not feeling like patient, you can, but like I said, it does take away some of that um, roasted flavor. You could also, um, you can also do these in the oven. If you don't want to do them in the, on the grill, let's say it's winter time, but, you know, I find that the, the best time to make these is when the peppers are in season locally. They just, it just has so much more flavor. But if you were to do it in the winter or if it was raining outside and you didn't want to grill, you can roast them in the oven. And um, you can uh, do it the same way. I don't think you'll get the charred skin. You'll be able to peel the skin away from the... Um, the pepper itself so so this takes a lot of patience I know but uh, my mom and my dad um, who are of Italian who are Italian have taught me well and um, I enjoy good food so to me it's worth the time so as you can see now I take away the seeds as much as possible And you want to make sure all that charred skin is um, is not on the pepper anymore. So this one's practically done. And this is like one of my, I don't know, it's, it's handed down to me in my family, this recipe. They're a lot different than the store-bought ones that are, you know, canned and jarred. Um, something special. It goes really well with uh, fresh mozzarella, fresh mozzarella sandwich, fresh mozzarella. Uh, if you're a meat eater, you can put some prosciutto in there. I'm mean, just out of this world. I mean, I've made like these awesome sandwiches that I bring to the beach and it's just everybody just goes nuts over them and, and they'll have, um, instead of a tomato, I'll use a pepper. So this one's practically done. And what I do is I tear, I tear them into the, the natural seam of the pepper. And then I'll place them in the bowl. But as you can see, they still have like this roasted exterior. I try to get rid of all the black. I mean, it's okay if you leave with a few speckles, but as you can see, I'm tearing them and then placing them in the bowl. You can also, um, if you're not going to eat them right away, you can um, probably jar them and then double boil them to uh, store for the winter. 
cut and get rid of all the seeds. And then I'll tear this one in half and put it in the jar. And um, I'll do this for all of them. I won't show you everything, but I'll show you this. There's a yellow one. And let me tell you, these yellow ones are a lot sweeter than the red ones. But they're both a sweet pepper compared to the green ones. You can also do these with, you know, green, frying, uh, not frying peppers, but green peppers, or fry, I would say green peppers, and even chili peppers. Okay, this is the final step. Um, all the peppers are peeled, and um, that's what it looks like. Oh, there's a wet spot on here. So, um, now once that's done, you just pour some oil. Um, add the garlic. And uh, toss that and the, and the parsley. Do this with one hand. Parsley. You can put in as much as you like. It's, it's really nice with the garlic. And then I just uh, toss it. And um, there's your wonderful roasted peppers with olive oil and garlic and parsley a la Jane. And um, you can you can refrigerate them at this point or serve them uh, right off and uh, they're very good. So hope you enjoyed this recipe and um, please click the button to like it and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.